from Waukegan. It's like up north, uh, borderline of Wisconsin. I live in the suburbs over there. And I've been there pretty much all my life. Um, and I, I go to Chicago like every now and then. Uh, well now, more than ever since I'm in school around it. Well, I've been to the Bean. It's like a cool tourist attraction. There's always like a lot of stuff around like going on. Like, um, like the street performers and stuff. I think a lot of people like it just because like you can do a lot of like weird things there that seem normal, like takes weird selfies. Well, that's basically why everyone goes, it's just for the selfies. I was born in Puerto Rico, but I moved to Chicago when I was three, and I've stayed here ever since. The thing that's special about the Bean is that it's, it's a big mirror, and a lot of people like taking pictures and selfies off of mirrors, and it's a cool spot to hang out. Um, there's just too many tourists go over there, and the tourists don't have it at their own city, so. They stop by, took a quick pick, and leave. Downtown is a safe place. Probably crazy drivers. Um, and probably once in a while, someone will try to rob you. So yeah, it's all right. My mom and dad, they'd always be like, oh, like they'd, they'd be like, no quiero que vayas a Chicago. Like they don't want me to go there. Cause they're like, oh, it's all like gang bangers and like bad people and like, you have to be careful where you walk and stuff. But like, whenever I go, I always have a good time. I'm with my friends. So like, definitely like before I, I came, like I was like a little skeptic about it. But now like, I like going around, walking around. The media portrays Chicago as like a dangerous place, lots of shootings and killings. Um, and I have witnessed a lady get her phone stolen in downtown and the funny thing is I was actually on my bike and I chased him down and then um, a lady called me to interview me and she put me on the newspaper. I wouldn't know because I've never mm -hmm. seen or witnessed it but right. from what I hear um, I feel like it probably is true what they say on the news like there's a lot of violence that goes on but they just don't um, they don't like portray all of it just because they don't want it to seem like right. so bad. That happens everywhere, so. I mean, that's not something that's only in Chicago. Like, only in Chicago they rob people. Only in Chicago they kill and shoot people. It's all over the world. Most, I like that there's a lot of diversity. And like, um, just like overall in general, I feel like Chicago feels a lot like Mexico in a sense that like, there's always like performers or like, there's people on the streets that like beg for like money. It's kind of like Mexico. I don't know, but there's also like, it has a lot of like Latino influence with like stores and stuff like paleteros and all that. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a good city to do, to do some urban exploring. So um, we, I take, I've taken every single line on the CTA. I've been in old abandoned buildings that are all around Chicago. And um, I just bike to hidden or um, absence, like where there's absence of human, I bike around there. Mm, the thing that I like the most about Chicago would uh, definitely be the different types of communities, the diversity as well, the diversity of <laughs> Chicago, downtown, like all the architecture and buildings. Um, Art is everywhere. I, I guess the neighborhoods that will have it the most is definitely Pilsen and Wicker Park. Uh, just depending on what type of art you want to see. Um, but those two neighborhoods, majority, like majority of their walls are full of graffiti, like permission walls, um, murals all over. So sometimes there's homeless people. Uh, sometimes there's not. You just see a lot of graffiti. So definitely people go there to do art and you know hang out. Just it's teaching the younger generation of a form of art um, so that it doesn't disappear in the future. I feel like there's a lot of like people that uprise from Chicago, like a lot of artists, for example, like obviously like Chance the Rapper, he's from Chicago, everybody knows him. And then like, um, there's like a lot of like people that, um, 
they're trying to like put themselves out there and like art wise and like I feel like since there's so much to work with here at Chicago and there's a lot of influence around Chicago like people can use that in their artwork or like um, through like music and it definitely influences what they do and how they do it so yeah I think Chicagoans are definitely diverse because um, you know Chicago has different neighborhoods and there's it's a certain culture in each neighborhood, um, so there's all kinds of Chicagoans. Yeah, I think definitely people should uh, come out, visit Chicago. It's like um, it's a it's a good place to like explore. Definitely like a good um, tourist attraction, especially with the bean and like definitely like it could be a lot of fun if you go with the right people. To be a true Chicagoan, um, one thing you can't have is catch up on your hot dog, on your Chicago hot dog.